Hi everybody, this is just a quick video to demonstrate a little Max for Live device that I've built. Uh, the device is called Key Launch and it's a clip triggering device. Uh, it's fairly simple what it does, it uses the keyboard to trigger clips. Um, I built this because I found myself in a few situations where I was wanting to use Live uh, but I didn't have a MIDI controller with me. And although Live has a really good navigation system where you can just use the arrow keys and the enter to trigger clips. I wanted something a bit more like a launch pad. I wanted to turn my QWERTY keyboard into a launch pad which isn't really possible but I tried to do something along those lines. So this is the device key launch. It uses the top row of keys from W to, to P. So they're not being actually being used by live and we have the bracket keys as well. So hit them on the keyboard and it goes down to the next scene. And as you can see, it gets the, uh, the color of the current of the clip and it's blank if there's no clip there. And, it, and you can trigger, so if I press W now, I'm gonna trigger that clip. And it has a little it update so you can see which clip is actually uh, being played like so. Um, it's floating as well, if you press F it floats, that way you can use the number keys to switch between different tracks. So you can quickly go to any track, tab up and down with the brackets keys and just trigger clips and then go to different tracks and so on. At any point, whichever scene you're on, if you press S it will trigger the entire scene. If you've got more than 10 tracks, I'm just using the 10 number keys, if you're using more than 10 use the plus minus keys and that jumps you to the next bank of 10 tracks. If you want to perform some functions that do make use of the keys, um, live specific functions that is, and you don't want it to conflict with this, then just hit the, um, what I call it, the tilde icon um, and it bypasses the patch so nothing will happen and then you can bring it back. So this is really for when you are performing, triggering clips, um, and it also gets the, the track name as well that you're currently on, which can be useful. The device is Mac only at the moment, um, and I've only tested it on a MacBook Pro. So if you're trying it on an iMac or a Mac Pro, then if there's any issues, let me know. It's If you're using Macs for live, then you can go into the patch and it's just changing the numbers um, that relate to the, the different keys. Uh, fairly straightforward. Um, it's not PC at the moment, that's because it's not possible to get the human interface device information without using an external program, uh, which I didn't really want to go into at this stage, uh, but I might update that in the future. Yeah, fairly simple. I hope you enjoy it. Feel free to have a look inside and tweak it. Thank you.